Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Azure Soul, and we're back again with another short Honkai Star Rail side quest guide video. Today we're going to be covering a missable side quest for those of you on the grind to Trailblaze 29. This will help out with that because it's a lot of free Trailblaze XP, and it's some interesting lore into the Bellabog stuff. I don't know the prerequisites for this quest, all I know is it appeared on my map here. You'll be seeing a little blue icon on my map now in Backwater Pass after I finish the main storyline for Bellabog. You're gonna find this mysterious girl, she's like lost or whatever. I kind of skimmed through this quest, but anyway, there's gonna be these puzzles you gotta do, these box puzzles. And there'll be two box puzzles for this part of the quest. I'm gonna show them on screen now. So if you have any trouble, you probably won't for these first two, they're really easy, but if you have any trouble with them, here you go, they're gonna be on screen now. After you're done with these puzzles, you talk to the girl again, and you then head to Sampo, the quest will be straightforward, it will give you an objective to go to Sampo. You'll bring Sampo back with you to the area and back water pass. He'll think you're a little cuckoo because you're in the Fragmentum and the girl's disappeared. So you have to find her again. Now for the next part of the quest, you want to head to the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone and you'll see this blue marker here. As long as you've completed the first part that we just did, you should see the blue marker on the map. And this time you run into an older woman, her name is Cyril. And just like before, she'll have two box puzzles for you. She's confused, yada yada. She talks about someone called Stefan or something. I'm going to show the box puzzles on screen for you guys because this is when they start to get a little bit tricky for anyone who has trouble with them. Once you're done with these box puzzles, the quest will give you another obvious objective. You want to go and talk to Captain or Commander Dunn, whatever. Then I believe you have to wait one real-time day here, because I didn't get this text until I logged in the next day. You get a text from Captain Dunn for part three. He'll tell you he had a look and he didn't see anything, if I remember correctly. And then you got to find her again on your own. The next place you'll find her is at Everwinter Hill, where you did the final boss for Bellabog. And just like before, there will be a blue objective marker on the map when you successfully find her. So don't worry about, oh my god, where's the exact spot? The map will show you. Now she's got one more puzzle for us. I'm going to show that one on screen. It's the most complicated of the lot, I believe. So I'm going to show that one on screen now. Once you get done with this final puzzle, Cyril will reveal her true identity. I'm not going to show it on screen in case you're interested, and there will be a mini boss battle. Once you're done with this battle, you'll get another clear quest objective of where to go and finish the quest. You're going to end up talking to Manya. Now, you'll be familiar with Manya if you've done the Theses series of daily quests. So yeah, you just go talk to her, finish up the quest. You'll get a document that will give you more lore based on the true identity that you found out. And yeah, that's it for that quest. Just thought I'd show it off since it's missable and you know, it's rewards you're missing out on and gems you're missing out on and achievements you're missing out on. So yeah, it's a win-win for everyone. Hope this guide helped. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.